Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and we've been consolidating. They hopped it up right off the open to 42.30 yesterday, and the bears basically spent all of the regular session pushing back. They pushed it as low as 41.90. It, it really got stuck in the area of 4,200 for most of RTH. Uh, you can see the nine day has come up to meet price. That marks your low from tonight's Globex, 41.90. 75. So, you know, they made a run at the all time high, like we discussed. Um, they didn't have anything left, though. And I'm always leery of days that spend the entire regular session below the OP, uh, the OPG or the opening print, that opening 930 print, which was in the area of 42, I want to say it was 42.2875. Um, it was there for a blip, and then it spent the vast majority, 99% of the day, below that. So hourly chart, you can see they took it up. They couldn't do anything with it. Um, um, you know, the low from RTH was 95. That's a higher low relative to 4190 from where they opened Globex. Um, at the same time, they can't shake this roundy. So what does everybody need to do? The bulls, they need to hold the roundy. They're going to have to figure out a way to get back up above 4230 over the course of the next couple of days. If not, we're going to linger down here. And then what the bears want to have happen is they want to convert the nine day. They want to convert the weekly pivot. And they want to push back towards the pre-FOMC price down at 77 and eventually try to get back for a test of the daily mid-band at 41.66. Um, all that remains to be seen. What I think this sets up for potentially is another day of battling 10 handles on either side of this 4200 area. Um, there was really one good move yesterday. It was a move back in off the open, which we caught. And the rest of the day was just trying to kind of figure out what they wanted that next leg to be. And they didn't really want it to be much. I mean, you get six handles here, you know, five handles there, but no, nothing... No commitment, nothing where we could really get a, a middle third on anything. And it just, you know, the rest of the day was was pretty pretty whippy and sloppy and choppy in and around that 4200. So Globex hasn't been much different. So um, until this, the top of this zone from yesterday gets converted and the high point of that, 0775, or the low point, 90 and change gets converted we're stuck high area low area of the range extending down potentially to 66 extending back up potentially to 30. that's the lay of the land so you've got volume weighted average price about 97 half proprietary moving average 98.33 um, hourly mid band is 99 and the five minute mid band is 4200 so like i said it's all jammed in here at 40, you know, 4,200. You've got, you know, 30 to 35 handles of price on either side of this area. And everybody's just going to have to be patient and let it develop. Don't overtrade it. Don't bang yourself up. And then you're tired and frustrated when the real move comes. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. Come check out the room. Talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter. Instagram and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.